unequal pricing? That is what we are going to be looking at in this video. The first question is, four t-shirts and five vests cost $490. If a t-shirt cost $10 more than a vest, calculate the total cost of one t-shirt and one vest. When you get a word problem, I want to encourage you to read it more than one times. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to take note of is the total number of parts I have. I have four plus five, a total of nine parts. Okay, and they told us the vest and the t-shirts cost $4.90. The t-shirt is costing $10 more. Calculate the cost of one t-shirt and one vest. I'm going to add $490, and I'm working on the cost for nine t-shirts, the cost of four. Four out of nine is already included, so the other five, I'm going to multiply it by 10. Five times 10 is going to give me 50. 490 plus 50 is going to give me a total of 540. Now, when I get 540, I will have to divide 50 by the total number of parts, which is nine. Let's do that. 540 divided by 9. 9 into 9, 1, and 9 could go into 54 six times. 9 could go into 0, 0 times. So here we are getting 60. So therefore, the cost of one t shirt is $60. You also saw I did that? Look over this video if you need to. That's how I find the cost of one t-shirt. Now that I know the cost of one t-shirt, what will be the cost of four t-shirts? So therefore, the cost of four t-shirts is going to be 60 times four, which is going to be 240. 60 times four, okay, is going to give me 240. So 240 is the cost for four t-shirts. Now that we know the cost of four t-shirts, we would minus the cost of four t-shirts from the total cost, which is, so we know the cost of the t-shirts is 240. We want to minus the cost of the t-shirts from the total cost. So here we have 490 take away 240. And we are getting 250. Now, what does this 250 mean or represents? This 250 now is the balance. So it is the cost of five vests. And notice the question asks us to find the cost of one. So now that we know that the cost of five vests is 250, to find the cost of one vest, we need to divide 250 by Five. five into five, one, five into 25 is five, five into zero is zero. So the cost of one vest is going to be $50. And that is going to be your answer. So what we have here is the cost of one t-shirt, which is $60, and the cost of one vest, which is $50. In our second example, I made a change to the question. Here goes. Four t-shirts and five vests together cost $4.90. If a vest costs $10 less than a t-shirt, calculate the cost of one vest and one t-shirt. Okay, how many parts are we dealing with here? A total of nine parts. So to calculate the cost of nine vests, the first thing I need to do is I have five. So it's going to be four. Oh, I get four. You all is nine, subtract five. It's giving me four, all right? So I'm going to multiply four by 10 less, okay? Four tens are 40. Now that I have this, I am going to subtract the 40 from 490. When I subtract the, four, the 40 from the 490, I'm going to get 450. Now that I have the cost um, of nine vests, which is 450. The next thing I need to do is divide by my total parts, which is nine. 
And this is going to give me the cost of one vest. Nine to nine is one, nine to 45 is five, nine to zero is zero. So the cost of one vest is 50. Now this is the steps, so please just follow them. The cost of one vest is 50. If the cost of one vest is 50, then what will be the cost of five vests? The cost of five vests will be 50 by five, okay, which is going to give us a total of 250. Now that I know the cost of five vests, what can I do? I could subtract the cost of all the vests from the total cost, all right? Take away 250, which is the total cost of the, the vest, right and i am going to get 240 now what is this 240 this 240 will be the cost of the four t-shirts now that i know the cost of the four t-shirts i can do what divide by how much divide by four to know the cost of one t-shirt so the cost of one t-shirt will be 0.41 and 4 is 24 is 6 point zero is zero sixty dollars okay so here we worked out what they wanted the cost of one vest which is fifty dollars and the cost of one t-shirt which is sixty dollars okay so we're going to do another example and in this case we have tables and chairs we have a total of five tables and two chairs and the total cost for these items are five hundred and fifty dollars okay now they're telling us that the difference here is five so they're telling us here and the chair is five dollars cheaper first thing i'm taking note of is the total number of parts i have of a total of seven parts they told me that the chair is five dollars cheaper so i'm going to work out for the chair first have a total of seven parts i'm going to work out the cost for seven chairs seven take i already have the cost for two is here so here i'm gonna i have a total of seven parts i'm going to work out for the chairs first and then i'm going to work out for the tables okay so seven take away two is going to give me five so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply five by how much cheaper is the item five dollars so i'm going to multiply five by five i'm going to get 25. after working this out i'm going to subtract 25 from 550. after subtracting five, 25 from 550 i'm going to get 525 now, what I do next is, um, this is a cost for seven, I'm going to work out the cost for one. So, what is the cost for one? I have to divide by seven, okay? Seven into seven, one. Seven into 52 is four, with a remainder of three, and seven into 35 is five. Seven into seven is one, and seven into 52 is seven, with a remainder of three. Seven into 35 is five. So the cost of one chair is $75. So we found the first item that they wanted, the cost of each, the cost of one chair is $75. Now that I know the cost of one chair, here I have a total of two chairs. Okay, so I'm going to work out the cost of two chairs and then subtract it from the total to solve for five tables. Okay, seven times two is 150. So $150 is the total cost for two chairs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to minus the cost of the two chairs from the total cost. So 550 take away 150. I'm going to remain with $400, okay? And now this $400 is the cost of five tables. But we don't want the cost of five tables. We need to find the cost of one. So I'm going to divide 
by 5. And that will give me the cost of one table. 5 into 5 is 1. 5 into 40 is 8. 5 into 0 is 0. So the cost of one table is $80. So here we will tell the cost of one chair, which is 75 and then one table, which is $80. This is the last question for this exercise. Now, this is the last question we are going to do. Again, we are working out tables and chairs. All right, we have a total of three tables and a total of two chairs, and the cost here is 260 for, for all these items, okay? And they, they are telling us that the table is costing $20 more. So based on the previous examples, I'm going to work out the cost of the tables first. Okay, good. So how many parts do I have here? I have a total of five parts. Well, I did in the last, in the last example. I'm working on tables. I'm going to work out five. Take away three is going to give me two. Okay, I'm going to multiply two by what's the cost? How much more is it costing us? 20 more, and that's going to give me 40. The 40 that I'm getting, I'm going to subtract it from the total cost. The 40 that I'm getting, I'm going to add it. Remember, it says 20 more. So I'm not going to subtract in this case. I'm going to add. So it's going to be 260 plus 40 is going to give me a total of 300. Now that I have the cost for all five parts, I need to divide by five to get the, at the cost of one table. 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 36, 5 into 0 is 0. So the cost of one table is $60. Okay, we're not done yet. We have to work out. We have to work out the cost of the two chairs. Okay, now that we know the cost of one table is 60, I can multiply 60 by 3, which will give me the cost of three tables. Then I would subtract it from the total cost and I would know the cost of the two chairs. Okay, so 60 times three is going to give me $180. So now we are going to subtract 180 from our 260. I have 260. I'm going to subtract 180. And I am getting $80. So $80 would be the cost of our two chairs. If I want to find out the cost of one chair, what do I have to do? Divide 80 by 2. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 8, 4. 2 into 0 is 0. So the cost of one chair is $40. And we got what they ask us for. The cost of one table and the cost of one chair. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Latoya's Online Academy.